Hello and welcome back to We Who Are About To Die. And uh, we're actually almost at Living Legend once again. Living Legend was actually the rank that we died on on uh, Mr. Ordinary, which is pretty good actually, surprisingly enough, for Ordinary rank. And also we've gotten here pretty quickly with more berry time. So that's actually kind of nice too. Anyway, there is another weapon here that I might like to get, but I don't think so. I'd love to get another one of these, surprisingly enough. I'd love to get one of these, or I'd love to get something that just gives me a little bit more fame. So I'm just going to re-equip that real fast. And otherwise, what we're going to do is I think we're probably just going to go straight on in or we're going to just take a quick look here oh yes a one versus many this is a one versus five bear in mind this is one level higher than i actually am i can't bet unfortunately i'd love to be able to bet at this point but i cannot do that because i just loaded up the game again so unfortunately can't do that anyway uh yeah i think i think we won't train i don't think we'll train i don't think that that makes any sense to be honest considering and we're just going to go straight on in and see what we can do. Now, here's the thing. I will have to start training sometime. So I may end up, because we're obviously going for a pretty high rank here. I may end up literally just taking some weeks or one, or just alternate, like one week, uh, one week training, one week not, you know, and so on and so forth. And just kind of continue along that and just try to make the best that I can of my uh, of, of my ability to train because as it stands right now I'm not sure if I'm actually going to be able to even reach the maximum rank with my skills the way they are because yeah sure okay my my stamina is pretty good right my stamina is okay when I'm not training but I kind of want to be I don't know I kind of want to be training almost all the time I know that sounds super mm, well maybe it sounds a little bit counterintuitive but I really want to be training all the time because I want to get as best uh, two-handed skill, I want to get as best uh, shield skill, movement skill, all kinds of crazy stuff like that. Because if I can get all of that, it's just going to make everything so much easier for us in the long run. And so that's the reason why I'm kind of putting a bit more emphasis on that. Oh, I've got to be real careful here as well. You can see I'm taking pretty big damage on my right arm. so. That's not good. I actually feel like I I, feel, I thought I actually had pretty decent, um, pretty decent arm armor, but um, apparently not so good, surprisingly enough. But okay. Anyway, that guy's lost his helmet. I've I've just taken another fifty, another seventeen damage. All right. Okay. Okay. We might actually st have to start uh, not actually taking these one versus many's as much nowadays because look at how much damage i'm taking right here this is actually crazy okay i'm gonna actually concentrate a little bit and see what we see whether we can actually achieve victory here Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, as soon as I, you know, that's what's really funny. As soon as I shut up and just kind of concentrate on things, yeah, it seems to actually make a, a world of difference. Anyway, there we go. Whew. A little bit worrying there, to be honest. I feel very, very worried about that particular result because you imagine, yeah, imagine if I'd been up against someone that was actually slightly more difficult to kill, I would have probably died. Ah, yes, there we go. Okay, so my right pauldrons have actually been destroyed as a result of the damage that I've taken on them this time. So I actually need to find a replacement really, really quickly. I also need to find a chest piece as well. So that is going to be a little bit problematic. I guess I'm going to unlock that. And we're just going to re-roll a bunch. Mm, not something I really want to do, but we kind of have to at this point kind of have to try and find something i'd like to get the godly shield if at all possible as well uh but i don't know whether i even have enough money to be able to get that to be honest 
Okay, wait a minute. Ooh, we could get uh, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could get this. This is only 2,000, so I'm just going to buy it just purely for the fact that I then have some shoulders. It's not going to be something that I'm going to... Oh, actually, these things popped up. Oh, well, that's sad, isn't it? Um, I mean, I'd like to buy these, to be honest, because they're actually pretty good. As you can see, they're hardened and everything. So I'm actually just going to buy them and we'll just use these as backup just in case. You know, might be kind of nice. I still have 24,000 remaining. So getting another chest piece would be amazing. Oh, it seems like we are getting another chest piece, but not something that I actually want to go for, surprisingly enough. Yeah, you may think, oh, yeah, you should probably buy one of those. No, no, no. Let's, let's just hold our horses for a real quick second. I want to I wanna try and get something a little better than that. Maybe we can get a chest piece that is actually going to suit us rather nicely here. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting kind of unlucky right now. I'm getting kind of unlucky. I'd like to uh, I'm not sure why I'm not getting any godly uh, any godly shields right now. Maybe I have to order some. Maybe ordering some would probably be a good idea. Let me actually just have a look. Okay, wow. Uh, seems like I might just have to purchase the um, purchase some random random chest piece right now. I don't really want to do that. All things considered. Ah, light scale armor. This is actually kind of um, it's all right. It's not amazing. I, uh, yeah, I mean, this is obviously a great helmet. Very, very good helmet. Oh, actually, I, you know what? I'm having problems. <laughs> I'm having problems in many, many respects because my helmet is also about to be destroyed, which is actually really awful. So I don't know what I can do here. This is an amazing sword, which I am going to hold. And I am literally just going to buy this. That's all I can really do. I, I cannot I cannot wait any longer. We just have to go for it and then, you know, just, uh, just try our best, I suppose. Okay, so technically I can actually purchase this sword now, but I've already held it with my fame, so I'm not going to do anything else with it. And otherwise we're just going to be healing ourselves a little bit and we're going to be getting a little bit more durability here. Going to get great amending because it's going to be kind of useful for us. And I have 80 stamina at the moment. I personally feel like I would like to get more stamina. So I'm thinking, hey, should we just make this a training week? Uh, this is luck of the draw. Uh, I'd like to get luck of the draw. Yeah, okay, this is this is perfect. This is actually a perfect one right here because this is Maza as well. She's the lowest in terms of favor. So that's going to be really, really nice and easy for us. And I should be able to do this without taking any damage, or at least I hope so. My boots are actually kind of terrible as well, so I'd like to get some, some boots at some point too. Uh, I'm actually going to just use this sword instead because this one here needs to be repaired kind of. And uh, yeah, so I actually do need to get some new boots there. I need to get the godly shield. We kind of need to upgrade our gear relatively quickly here because if we don't do that, we're going to have some big, big problems later down the line and you can already see what's happening oh yeah this is actually a luck of the draw so my weapon doesn't even matter but yeah anyway i didn't even train i know i know i'm not i'm not training for a very good reason because i'm actually a little bit damaged i want to make sure that we just win this reasonably quickly and then we'll get some nice healing i'll get back to full hp and then i'll feel a little bit more confident about doing things like that because as it stands right now i'm very worried that my helmet is going to be destroyed that's going to be something that is very bad for me uh, because then I don't have a replacement that easily to get. Uh, thankfully, this guy picked up a flail. I say thankfully, but I'm not sure whether I should really be thankful about it. Oh, he actually dropped it. Okay, why did he drop the flail? That's kind of weird. All right, well, that's fine for me, sir. That is absolutely fine because I can just kill him super, super easily, as you can see right here. Really nice and easy, in fact, because he's not even bothering to really defend himself and I should be able to eliminate him in just a second once we get one more hit yeah there we go one more headshot and there it is okay nice and simple really really easy 7,000 gold not bad right yeah not bad and we did that in like what 35 seconds I personally feel like that is probably a much better way to go about things than doing these massive one versus many fights because these fights are inevitably going to get me killed later on down the line. And obviously we don't want that, do we? Or do you? I don't know. No, probably not, right? Anyway, um, yeah. So 
I'm actually wondering whether I even need another one of these swords. Because I, I, yeah, sure, I spent some fame on it, but do I actually need anything like that? Because I'm now thinking, I need a helmet. And I've only got 12,000 gold, so I'm going to need to kind of re-roll a couple of things here. Okay, this is the same helmet I'm actually using already. This is another helmet. All right, I'm just going to buy the same helmet because it's okay. You know, it's not the best helmet ever. It could be better, like really very much better. It could be better, but it's right there. I don't want to spend any more time re-rolling or anything like that. And now look at us. Now look at us. We're actually full HP, which is fantastic. I don't need to heal any further. My blacksmith is doing a great job. This is a one versus many and an entourage. So we're probably just going to go straight up and do this. This is really nice, actually, that we're getting this right now. And we can also win within two minutes, win with two surviving allies. I think I should be able to do that. And um, yeah, we're probably just going to use this one-handed sword. It seemed to do quite nice damage, or at least I think it did quite nice damage, maybe. I don't really know, but yeah, it seemed, it seemed all right. And we have entourage, so let's go for it and uh, see what we can do here. Hopefully we're going to be able to win this reasonably fast and then we can continue onward to the next ranks and you know basically I'm trying I'm not trying to speed run that's the thing I'm not trying to speed run this game but um, I'm definitely trying to be relatively quick to get to those higher ranks because there are 18 ranks in all as far as I'm aware I think there are 18 ranks because we were trying to get to rank 15 with Mr. Ordinary and that was two ranks away from the maximum so yeah i think that is that is in fact what uh, what we need to do uh, i'm actually going to try and go for some backhands here because the backhanded slash would actually hit an unarmored piece of equipment maybe no no he, he seems to actually no he does have arm armor didn't realize that okay well that's fine there we go nice damage on that guy oh that was some nice damage all right can we get some more of that please that would be very, very nice. Now I've just got to wait for some stamina here, unfortunately. There we go. Nice damage. He's dead. Look at that. Yeah, that's the kind of thing I absolutely adore. Any single time I can actually take someone out super, super easily like that, it's always super enjoyable, satisfying, and the slow motion comes in at exactly the right moment as well. All right, there you go. Nice and easy. And obviously, because we did that with Entourage, we did that with less than a minute. And we've done, uh, I think, both of the... Yeah, we did both of the bets as well. So we're now swimming in some cash. So we can hopefully get a godly shield or maybe a uh, slightly better... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Some more flexibility with the shop should be good. And we'll just unlock the last slot ourselves. All right. So, yeah, maybe we should get the helmet. Because, as you can see, it actually does give me Hardened. The Tarantian Helm seems like the better version of this one. We could buy it for 15,000, and it might be kind of nice. Uh, and then I can just sell this helm later on down the line. Uh, obviously, this one is needing to be repaired before I actually sell it. Or I could try to re-roll for the Godly Shield. Because at the moment, my helmet is actually pretty good. It's not too bad. It just doesn't have the hardened attribute. And so, obviously, if I'm against a spear user and the spear guy, you know, pokes me in the face or something like that, it's going to do full damage. Or it's going to do super effective damage, you know, uh, in comparison to me using this helmet. So, not sure. Probably just going to re-roll it for now because I'd like to get the godly shield. There's the godly shield. That is absolutely wonderful. Really nice that it turned up in exactly the time that I needed it. And I'd actually like to get these godly uh, braces as well. Um, but I don't think I actually need that right now because we just got the godly shield, so it's not really necessary. And otherwise, we can now uh, take a look at this. Yeah, we're absolutely fine. Let's just repair, and I think we'll probably do some training now. So let's actually train stamina and movement. And let's have a look. Many versus many, many versus many, many versus many. Reroll. Thank you very much. Do not want to do many versus many. What do we have here? This is a wild card, um, wild card and an entourage. That's really funny. All right, yeah, these are these are basically kind of meh. Uh, all of these options are kind of meh. I, I don't really like that so much. So we're just going to win within four minutes. And uh, this is Entourage as well. So it's a five versus one, basically, which is pretty hilarious. And um, yeah, we're otherwise... Uh, that's actually a really nice sword, surprisingly enough. Yeah, anyway, 
Um, most of this is going to be repaired as far as I'm aware. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I, do I need to actually repair anything? I need some boots, actually. I need some boots to go on my right foot. Um, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Everything else is looking pretty fine. Do I need to get anything else? <laughs> get one throwing, get, no, get one throwing kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, miss me with that. Thank you very much. That's going to be very, very difficult for me in general. Uh, I feel like throwing, I, I, I don't know. I, I feel like throwing could be really, really good, but I'm not sure how that's going to actually work in the end you know if you're really good at it you know if you have the momentum because obviously if you don't know how it works basically you hold the attack button and then as your character is swinging you release the key which then basically allows you to let go of the weapon it's basically the same key that you drop your weapon with pretty much and that's how that works um so it's really really weird and uh kind of um I don't know. It's 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 difficult for me at least. Let's just say that. It's difficult for me to kind of get a handle on it. So it's going to be one of those things where I'm just like, yeah, you know what? I'm uh, I'm going to have to take years and years and years to learn how to do that stuff. Uh, you know, I mean, literally, if you know me from playing Mount and Blade and things like that, I used to play Warband. I played that for eight years or uh, yeah, played that for eight years before Bannerlord came out, Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. And I never used thrown weapons, or very rarely used thrown weapons in Warband, because they were just, I, I don't know, they felt too unwieldy. You know, they felt too unwieldy, they felt really, really cumbersome and difficult to use. And then, as soon as I played Bannerlord, I was like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, thrown weapons are amazing. I was having a whale of a time with thrown weapons. So, that's the kind of thing that maybe will happen here, you never know. You know, it's going to be one of those times where you just kind of think, oh, why didn't I ever use this before, you know? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, just going to sell these sandals right here. I have a refund of 50%. I uh, don't really care too much about replacing anything here. All right. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. So we're just going to train once again. I'm basically just going to try and train as much as I possibly can to get my stamina up to 100%. I'd also like to get a bunch of movement as well, just in case we do go into a one versus many, which is more than likely going to happen at some point. And let's have a look here. Is this a one versus... No, this is, this is a one versus one. We could potentially do that. Mazza is having a luck of the draw here with a prestigious. Might be kind of cool, but I would like to very... I, I would like to just quickly win. So let's actually go for the one versus one here. This seems like a pretty fun one. And I'm going to be using this sword once again. I'm actually thinking that maybe I'd like to get a, uh, a good two-handed, uh, not two-handed, a good uh, one-handed mace. I think a good one-handed mace could be a lot of fun, actually. So I'm thinking, mm, what is a good one-handed mace at this level? I'm going to have to look for one, actually. I, I'm, I'm going to go to the store and maybe get some orders in or something like that and try and get some one-handed or something. And then maybe we can try and find something that's relatively good. Or I can just order impressive gear. I think impressive quality weapons are probably my favorite, surprisingly enough. But that's the funny thing. Many adequate weapons, and indeed even ordinary weapons, are actually really good. Surprisingly so. And you may not think so, you know. You may not think, oh yeah, ordinary weapons, haha, you know, he's joking or whatever. But no, no, actually not. I actually really liked using some of the adequate weapons. Um, specifically the adequate weapons, you know. And, uh, you know, shout out to the small hammer. Although the small hammer apparently does have a uh, slight bit of RNG to it. And that means that um, it can actually ap apparently appear with different stats. And I may have just gotten super lucky about that. Um, because my one had... Um, 26 damage on it or something like that yeah my one had 26 damage but someone saw it in the shop and they had five damage on the small hammer so <laughs> uh unlucky i guess unlucky that's um that's pretty harsh gotta say that is pretty harsh anyway there we go we were able to achieve victory we've ranked up to demigod let's get some more stamina skill thank you very much why not and uh let's get some well i don't even want any fame to be honest all right so what else can we get here I don't really need this godly stuff. Doesn't really help me that much. This might actually help me. But again, a bit of a problem. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
It's, it, you see, now here's the thing. The reason why this is a bit of a problem to get is because we're starting to lose stamina region at a pretty significant rate, mostly because of my new shield, because obviously the shield that I used to have gave me 3% less. It also gave me a decent fame multiplier too. So technically, uh, if I'm not worried about dying, I could just equip this and then have a little bit more offense and things. So that might actually be a good idea. Oh, what's that? No, that's a... Um, why, why am I getting all this godly stuff all of a sudden? That's kind of weird. All right, well, we're not going to be going for any godly stuff right now. I'm looking for the one-handed, please. I'm looking for a one-handed. No, no, we're actually getting pretty unlucky about the, uh, the one-handed's coming up here. All right, uh, this is pretty nice. I think I might actually buy this. And we'll just sell this. We've got a refund of 70%. I might sell the chest piece now because I would like to get a uh, replacement for it relatively soon. And we might sell these as well. Um, okay, so we have a replacement weapon. And I'm going to be using the replacement weapon now. We have a replacement shield, a replacement helm. We're going to need a bunch of other replacements as well. And the most important replacement for us right now is probably uh, the right. Mm, maybe not even the right because it seems like it's doing pretty well. It seems like it's not taking that much damage. So I'm thinking a chest piece is probably going to be what we want to get. Ah, the Iron Curious is a very good one. As you can see, it's stamina regeneration saves me 5%. So I'm actually thinking of just purchasing that straight up. So that's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to use it straight away as well. I have no money right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to trade 50,000 fame or something like that. Boom, there we go. Got another 23,000. And once again, we're just going to be training a little bit here. So my stamina is now at 86, which is decent. And let's have a look and see what we can go for. Okay, there's a pit fight. Oh, this is one versus many. Massive. One versus eight. This is a luck of the draw. So technically, it is doable. But I don't want to go into a one versus eight. Uh, that is the only thing that I am kind of worried about. But luck of the draw, should I try it? Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't really want to try it, okay? I don't really want to try it, but it's going to give me a huge amount of score, or at least I assume it's going to give me a huge amount of score. Okay, so I just bought a new chess piece. My helmet is... I'm going to just swap out my, my helmet as well. We're actually just going to go over and just do this. Did I already train? Yeah, I already trained as well. Okay, that's going to be a bit harsh. All right. Ha uh, ha Yeah. Hmm kind of wish I had uh, some better boots. So let me just see if I can find some better boots real fast. If I can find some better boots, then I might decide to go for it. Um, You know what? We should just go for it anyway, shouldn't we? We really should just go for it. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I'm going to do it, all right? I'm going to do it just purely for the fact that it's for entertainment, all right? It's for entertainment. If I was playing by myself right now, I would not be doing this, okay? I would not be doing this because this is a pretty harsh fight in the Linoleum Theater, no less. And the only reason I'm doing it is so you can have a fun time and so I can maybe try and have a fun time as well. Let's just see if I actually win. Um, this is a great, great place to do luck of the draw because there are just so many weapons on the floor. But it is not such a great place for someone like me who is kind of bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of need obstacles. You see what I mean? I kind of need obstacles to run around and everything. And um, there aren't any here. Okay, I'm going to need to pick up this terrible shield. I didn't really want to pick up this shield, to be honest. Okay, yeah, this is, this is real, this is real bad. Okay, I can only hope that these guys are literally just going to hit each other. That's, that's literally all I want them to do right now. You know, this shield is absolutely terrible. Can I pick up this one? Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Whew. Okay, I'm going to shut up and we're just going to concentrate, okay?
All right. Okay. Whew. That was, uh, yeah. <laughs> That was a little bit too close for my liking, but we're going to get a huge amount of score for this, or at least I hope we're going to get a huge amount of score for it. And the only reason we were able to do that is because it was luck of the draw. That's it. There is nothing else to it. Now let's just see how much we get. All right, we've, we've, we've repaired and... Uh, did we actually level up? No. We didn't level up. Okay, I have no idea how much uh, how much score we got for that, but okay. Apparently we didn't get that much for it, which is very, very sad indeed. But I do see some new boots here, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy these, because uh, I don't know whether you noticed, but our most significant hit that actually happened in that fight was against our left leg, surprisingly enough. Usually my left leg does not ever get hit, but... This time around, it did. So, yeah, it's going to be good for me to get something that will be a little bit harder to get dead. Mm -hmm. Yes, a little bit harder to get dead. Very good. Anyway, let me just take a quick look here. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing a possible replacement, but I'd actually like something a little more, a little bit more protective. I'm not seeing anything, unfortunately. No, I am not seeing anything at all. The right arm armor is perfectly fine that I have at the moment, so I don't really need anything else. Ah, here we go. Okay, this is slightly better. So we're just going to go for that. Going to keep those just in case for a backup. And how's my chest piece? Oh, my chest piece needs to be repaired, so I'm just going to replace that real fast. And... I think we're actually doing pretty fine with our other things right now. I don't think I need to go for anything too much. So yeah, I think I think that's fine. I hope. <laughs> uh oh oh wait wait. Oh we oh no no. Hello. This is actually really really good. Okay, let's go for this. Gonna sell these uh refund at 70%, pretty decent. And we might try to go for another godly shield as well, because the godly shield is obviously fantastic. Let's just replace my helmet here. And uh, we'll, we'll just repair everything that we have. I am, I am eventually going to be going for all godly stuff, obviously. But at the moment, I just can't really, uh, can't really deal with that cost right now. Um, but don't worry, we're going to be doing that at some point in the near, near future oh hello okay that's actually a lot better than what i what i just purchased so we're just going to be buying that there we go i am wasting a lot of money right now but that is just purely for the fact that i don't know whether i'm going to get that item again and i don't want to hold it for fame it just doesn't make any sense to me to hold it for fame anyway we're going to be requesting some impressive gear because i'm actually hoping that maybe we're going to get yeah, I don't know, one-handed mace or something like that. Even though the sword at the moment is doing pretty well for me. Let's just take a quick look at my stamina. My stamina is 89.3. Okay, well, my movement does need to be increased somewhat. Let's take a look at what other offerings they have here. The entourage is obviously going to be easy. So I think we're probably just going to go ahead and do that. That's probably going to be the thing that we'll do. Because why not, you know, let's let's have a bit of an easy round this time, you know, instead of uh, putting ourselves through the ringer uh, <laughs> like we did in the other one. Uh, you know what? I feel like that one was probably, I don't know, probably the, the biggest fight that we're going to do. I don't think we're going to see anything like that again. Not unless there's like something helping me like entourage for example like if i have really really good so you know success with entourage in general why is this guy using a pitchfork i don't know why he's using a pitchfork but whatever anyway point is if there's a one versus many and we have entourage and maybe we have insurance or something like that then i might be much more likely to uh you know go for another one versus many but i think a one versus eight is a bit too harsh for my liking and I don't think I'm going to be doing one of those again, uh, at least in this run, that's for sure. Because 1 versus 8, while it does give you a pretty decent amount of cash and fame and all that stuff, it's not actually worth it. If you think about it, it's not actually worth it. Because the way that I'm, I'm thinking about it right here is that if I were to do, you know, 1 versus 1s or a pit fight or something like that, I would have no issue doing 3 of those in the time that it took me 
to do one, one versus many. And as a result, I, I mean, just look at how much money I just got here. We just got 8,200. And while we did get 30,000 for the other, the other fight, it just doesn't seem worth it for the time invested. You know what I mean? So eventually it just becomes a bit too, you know, a bit too heavy, a bit too heavy. Anyway, there's a one-handed sword here, which is actually pretty good. Uh, we might want to go for it, actually. Uh, I mean, it does 28 damage instead of 22 damage. Uh, that's pretty good. I mean, I don't know. It's one of those. It's one of those times, you know. It's one of those times where I just think to myself, yeah, maybe it's a good idea. Maybe it's not a good idea. I don't know. I'm just gonna re-roll for the moment. And let me see if there's anything else here. No, it doesn't seem like it. This is a this is a great helmet, actually. Might want to go for a, a slightly better helmet. I'm hoping. Yeah, there's the godly one. All right, gonna buy the godly one now. Going to swap that around, and we're at the 70% ratio, so we're just going to sell that one. And then we are going to be purchasing these Masterwork Greaves. Thank you very much for that. Sell these two. And I think we're actually looking pretty nice right now. We are looking pretty nice. I have Masterwork Boots. I have Godly and Masterwork Shoulders. My weapon is the only thing that's looking pretty... Uh, it's lagging behind quite significantly, but... Don't know whether it really is. Is it really lagging behind? Not so much. Anyway, let's just take a quick look. Yeah, I'm at 647,000, so we can continue onward. Many versus many. I don't know what's actually going to give me... What, what actually gives me the most score? Because I did that one versus many, and it didn't rank me up, which I thought was hilarious. I don't know why it didn't rank me up, but apparently it didn't. Anyway, there's another one versus many here. This is with Entourage. Okay, and there's only four opponents. I think we could probably do this. What do you think? I think we could probably do this. So uh, let me just make sure I've got my gear all appropriately selected. I think I do. Yeah, 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 I think I do. All right, uh, let's actually do some training in the meantime as well. Let's do some training. And uh, how are we doing in terms of that? Yeah, not too bad, but it's um, <laughs> it's taking a little bit longer now, isn't it? Yes, okay, but at least we're going in with Entourage. That is, as I said to you, basically one of the only ways that you're going to be seeing me go into one versus minis at this late point in the game. I personally feel like, as I say, one versus many is probably not worth it because it just takes so long. Earlier on, when you can actually, you know, uh, find opponents that are really, really lightly armored, you can probably have a much easier time of things because you can kill them so fast in comparison to how it is now where they stay alive for a very long time. It's very difficult to get their armor off and everything. And uh, yeah, obviously if you have no allies, you know, if you have no allies, then of course that's going to make a huge difference to your overall success. But you can see here, I'm dealing some pretty decent damage to this fellow right now and I'm not really being put in too much jeopardy, but hopefully my... Uh, my friends are actually going to do something here. Uh, oh, did he already kill that guy? He already killed that guy. Wow, that's hilarious. Okay, I didn't even realize that he had already killed someone. That's nice. Okay, uh, maybe if we can just... Uh, I'd like to... Oh, no, he didn't kill anyone. Oh, okay. Did he? No, no, I don't think he killed anyone. Okay, that's weird. I don't... Where did that guy... Where did he disappear to then? I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. That's probably what's going on here. I just want to try and distract. Oh, my guy's dead? Are you serious? One of my guys already died? Okay, well, he's dead. Okay, so that's nice. Oh, uh, now I'm worried. Okay, now I'm now I'm actually very worried because that means that um, this guy is going to die too. I'm pretty sure. He's low. Yeah, this guy is low. Uh, he's got no shield. Yeah, yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Okay, that's fine. That's actually fine. That's not not that big a deal as long as I can uh, just survive here. I'm pretty I'm pretty heavily armored, so it's highly unlikely they're going to be able to do anything against me that will be significantly damaging as long as I can angle my shield towards where they're blocking. I don't even need to technically actively block. I can just kind of passively block with it. There we go. Nice damage on that guy. Yes, yes. A bit more of that. Thank you very much. Oh, they killed They killed their own guy. That's perfect. He's lost his helmet. That's also great. 
and he's almost dead he's gonna die with one more hit there we go one more headshot there we are perfect and now this guy should die within the next two hits i'm gonna assume unless uh unless i hit like that that is yeah and i've obviously got really low stamina so that's obviously making a huge difference as well There we go. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so yeah, that was obviously one versus many, and you can see exactly why we do we do not want to do these that often. We really do not. But good amounts of money, good amounts of money. Did we actually level up? No, we still didn't level up. So even do one, doing one versus many, apparently that still doesn't really uh, still doesn't really do too much for us, which is surprising. Anyway, we're just gonna sell this stuff right here. I'm I'm thinking I might try to purchase some other stuff so for example i'd like to purchase something that can replace my shoulders so i'm thinking double godly you know double godly stuff or something like that that would probably make the most sense so i'm gonna think about maybe doing something like that although my right arm is much more important than my left arm at the moment so i'm thinking we'll probably try to get that if i can uh, oh, hello. That's, yeah, I actually really like this weapon. I very much like this weapon, so I'm thinking I might buy that and then sell this. Because it just does more damage, very slightly more damage, but it has more durability as well. It has a more, well, it has a slight more fame multiplier and everything, so might actually be an idea. Might actually be an idea. All right, yeah, let's do it. Oh, why not? Why not? And let's just swap that around real quick. Okay, so this is obviously on the left. We need right, don't we? Let me see if I can find some. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit unlucky with the rerolls right now. I've seen the, uh, the left one multiple times, but not the right one. There's the left one again. Not sure why we're always getting that. That is super weird. But we can actually buy some of these, which would probably be pretty useful for us. So I'm going to do that. Just as a uh, just as a replacement, you never know. Ah, oh, look at that. We got both of them. That's absolutely perfect. All right. So we just need right. Yep, there we go. Okay, we found it. Excellent. Okay, so now we have godly stuff on pretty much everywhere, apart from where we cannot have it. And uh, we still have 10k gold remaining, which is very nice. Okay, so let's actually have a look. I have 93 stamina now. Let's go for a little bit more training. And what do we have? Many versus many. This is a one versus one with insurance. Might be good to do the one versus one with insurance, I suppose. Or we could do this one. This one is an aspired. He's going to be really difficult, especially considering we don't have any uh, uh, any affix, you know, any uh, particular trait that we're going to go in with. So I'm going to do the insurance one, I think, and that's probably going to be pretty fun for us. So we'll do that. I'm actually not sure whether I need to do more tournaments and, no, and more wild cards. You know, uh, I'm not talking about tournaments as in uh, more many versus manys. Maybe I need to do more many versus manys because we've barely done any of those. So it might actually make sense. If we see a positive trait in that arena, then that might be uh, a good idea. Uh, so I'm going to think about doing that. And maybe I can just do some damage to this guy. I just really want to just murder him super, super quickly. Maybe his shield is going to be very difficult to destroy, as you can see. So I might have to go for overheads. But again, I don't really, I don't really like going for overheads too much. Especially against... I mean, shield users are obviously... It's kind of required to go against them, I guess. Um, but yeah, I was getting some decent hits to begin with, but... Obviously not so much anymore. I wonder how fast I can even destroy his shield. I mean, generally, I, w I should be able to destroy his shield quite quickly. As long as I uh, continue to do decent-ish damage to it. But obviously that's not the goal. We kind of want to... Yeah, there we go. His helmet is absolutely gone. That is perfect. Now we can just do massive damage to him. Uh, I think one more hit will probably take him down. One more good hit will probably take him down. And there we go. Yep. <laughs> All 
That was actually relatively good. Not too bad. We, we won rather fast. Now, hopeful, hopeful that we're actually going to get... Uh... Yeah, there we go. We ranked up. Okay, perfect. Two-handed sword skill. Yeah, we'll go for the two-handed sword skill just in case I do end up using a two-handed or generally in case this weapon does uh, end up needing to be used because maybe my shield gets destroyed or something like that. You never know. All right, so we're just going to repair some things. Going to order some more impressive gear just in case. We're going to do a little bit more training. As you can see, my stamina is basically not ranking up that fast anymore at all. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're actually just going to go for movement now. Go for movement and go for shield skill. My shield skill is at 80, so it's decent. I don't really need to do more than that, um, but it might be kind of nice, I think. Might be kind of nice to do that. I actually want another godly shield, so do you think I can find one? Oh, wow, look at that. Got a godly shield straight away. That was absolutely perfect. Okay, so we're just going to do that. There we go. Let's just trade that around. And there we have it. Okay, now we're looking pretty nice. <laughs> now we're looking pretty nice. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, well, another one versus many. I really don't want to do this. That's way too many, in my opinion. Spoils to the victor. Insurance might be kind of cool. Pit fight might be kind of cool. Uh, generally, anything that has... I don't know. These are really low brackets, you see. I'm just not entirely sure whether we need to rank up... If, if, can I rank up faster by doing that? I mean, look, this is what this is. Um, wait a minute. If your aspirant ranks up, all brackets at lower level increase to your level. Bracket levels can never be lower than your aspirant's rank. Okay. Right. Well, I, I don't really mind doing that. I, I guess we'll, we could do the many versus many, I suppose. That is a level 15. We could do the pit fight. Pit fight's going to be real simple. So we could probably do that, actually. Let's, let's just go ahead and do that. We're just going to go in there and absolutely wreck face. I think that sounds like a fun idea, don't you think? Yeah, I think that sounds like a fun idea. We don't have any bets to do or anything like that. Did I train? I think I did train, right? Yeah, I already trained. Okay, perfect. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to go straight on into the pit fight. And uh, maybe maybe we'll actually level up our shield skill a little bit. You know, that, that would be kind of nice. That would be kind of nice. And uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people in here. So we might have a couple of issues with some backstabbery going on. So hopefully we're not going to have that. But yeah, it seems like most people now, most patrons that we have right here, their favor is with 100% with us. Or at least they should be relatively 100%. Unless I just haven't done some some fights with them for a while and uh, I can pretty much just hang back most of the time I don't think I really need to worry too much about getting embroiled in fights um, but I can if I want to obviously like this guy for example we can probably try and do some damage to him well he's actually he's actually wrecking me right now which is really not very nice of him oh there we go his helmet has gone so he is now ripe for the picking and he is about to die very very soon in actual fact he has no idea don't tell him oh no he disarmed me how dare you there we go now he's dead all right that was easy enough wasn't it my skill and throwing has increased well that's good to know isn't it yeah so this is a huge free-for-all isn't it so i basically just need to do damage to as many people as possible and uh, hopefully just get everyone dying just that much quicker you know this guy needs to die because he's a spear user and really do not want to fight a spear user at the end. Thank you very much. I'm just going to wait a little bit for my stamina to come back. There we go. He's dead. These guys actually have some pretty decent weapons as well, as you can see. Yeah, I'm just going to use my shield a little bit. Maybe I'll get some shield skill. Uh, these guys can actually just fight it out, to be honest. I don't really mind if they fight it out. That's the funny thing, you know, when you block, it actually does reduce the speed, uh, you know, to your, uh, uh, to, to your stamina regeneration. It's not actually stopping it completely, but it is going to slow it down by a pretty considerable margin.
Alright, well that was a little bit strategic from me right there. I actually decided, you know what, I'm just going to let them fight it out a little bit. Just going to take a couple of pot shots and things here and there. And then just move in for the kill when I felt like it was necessary. And boom, there you go. That's exactly what happened. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, there we go. I don't think I actually need to do anything with any of my stuff. I don't think I... I mean, I can, I can technically just replace that. And then we can do a little bit of repairing and, and so on and so forth. That generally seems like a good idea. And we can also repair ourselves if we want to. My shield skill is now at 85, so I think, I think that seems pretty decent. So we might as well just do a little bit more training there. We've got a pit fight going on. Might be a good idea to do that. There's a one versus one here, which might actually provide us with some pretty significant gains. But there aren't any affixes associated with it. So I'm a little bit, eh, you know, a little bit worried about it. I think the pit fight would probably be the way to go here. Win within one minute. Should we try and win within one minute? Yeah, I think that sounds like a fun idea. And let's do this. Gonna have to use this one. I need a, you know, I feel like I need a better weapon. Is it just me that feels like I need a better weapon? I think so, right? Okay, so let me actually just have a look and see if I can find one because I'm not really getting anyone that actually seems like something I'd want to use. I'm, I'm getting a bunch of pole arms. I'm getting a bunch of two-handed weapons, but I'm not getting anything that's a one-handed that's actually decent. You know, I mean, look at this. I'm getting a two-handed, getting a pole arm, and what else do I have here? Another pole arm. Yeah, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. What's going on here? Why am I only getting two-handed and pole arms? It's kind of strange. There's the one-handed slash two-handed sword, which I very much like. There's a spear. Obviously, I'm not going to be using a spear or anything like that. This is obviously a really, really good sword, but again, I'm not going to be using a two-handed. Not right now, at least. I don't know, maybe I should use a two-handed. Oh well, whatever the case, yeah, we're just going to go in to the pit fight. I've already bet that we're going to win within one minute. Highly unlikely that we're going to win within one minute because, you know, there's a bunch of enemies, but uh, there, there isn't any entourage going on either, so I kind of have to work with my, my teammates. I just have to work with my teammate as much as possible and then just see whether we can... Uh, whoa, okay whether we can actually win this is gonna be really painful for us i think because you see my you see my friend here you see my my teammate he has no arm armor on the right arm and that is the unguarded one because he obviously has a shield on the other arm and did i literally just get poked by that guy across the screen yes i think i did that's pretty crazy okay well whatever the case um yeah hopefully we're gonna do okay here. Why are you guys? Why are you guys actually like uh, grouping up against me? This is this is not particularly nice of you. Oh, you're dead, sir. All right. Well, that's nice. Okay. Let me see if I can actually kill this fellow. Okay. There we go. Nice damage. There we go. Nice. Okay. I'm just trying to take the heat off my uh, off my friend there, so he can just duel that guy, and hopefully. That's going to be um, kind of enough to get him the advantage, or at least a little bit of the advantage, because otherwise I'm basically going to be fighting three people at once, and that's obviously not something I really badly want to do. Maybe I should try and help him out. There we go. A little bit of help. A little bit of help. Can, can, he, can he kill? Okay, apparently he can't. Okay. <laughs> oh, I was actually somewhat hoping that he might do something there, but no, no. He, uh, he really, yeah, he just got absolutely murdered. Well, that's sad, isn't it? I was really trying to help him, but he just decided to do some weird stuff at the end there. He decided to, you know, uh, attack the other guy instead of attacking the one that we were attacking together. And yeah, it didn't really work out too well for us, but oh well, never mind. This guy's dead. And then I should be able to kill this guy with a nice little overhead. One more hit should take him down. There we go. That is it. Wonderful. All right, so 1 minute 35, pretty decent. But obviously, as I say, I actually have no idea how uh, how good we need to fight to be able to rank up. That's the thing. I, I actually can't tell. Um, you know, it, it doesn't say to me, oh, you know, how, how long is it going to be until the next rank? It never, it, it doesn't tell me. So I'm actually uh, a little bit in the in the dark about that, which is a bit weird. All right, well, can't do much about that then. Anyway, uh, this is right. Yeah, we're just going to replace those. Going to have to repair it. Uh, my helmet is looking okay at the moment. We're going to have to... Well, I mean, this is obviously a great sword, but we already have one of those. 
This is a... Oh, this is a nice sword. Yeah, this is a nice sword, actually. I might buy this. I'm just going to try and test it out a little bit, because as it stands, I really like the weapon that I have, but you never know. Maybe there's going to be something that's going to be more effective, something that is going to be more to my liking, you know what I mean? And otherwise, I already have one-handed swords at maximum, as you can see. So I think the best thing that I can do now is train two-handed swords, and maybe... You know what? Should I... Hmm, I could drop my shield when we go in, you know, I could drop my shield when we go in and then we could level two handed swords with the other sword, if you know what I mean, you know, the one that we have, the one that uh, has the one handed slash two handed. I think that seems like maybe a good idea, but let's actually just take a quick look. Okay, many versus one, I mean, one versus one, but this is Entourage and Luck of the Draw. That's obviously going to be super, super easy for us. Um, we could do many versus many. Technically, this is this is probably something that could get us a lot of score because we haven't really done any many versus many's because I just don't like them. I think that they're not that useful. So we could potentially do that, but my weapon currently needs to be repaired yeah okay okay fine fine we'll do the many versus many and we'll see how it goes i'm gonna level i'm, I'm gonna do the two-handed skill not because i'm gonna actually be using a two-handed sword but just because i'm gonna get that flat value increase just from doing the training that's the only reason why i'm doing the training right now and obviously we're gonna get a little bit of movement speed and all that wonderful stuff too and we're actually going in with three pokey guys so that's actually going to be kind of nice because they're going to be able to poke everyone to death and hopefully I'm not going to um, be on the receiving end of any of those pokes from the enemy side as well. Seems like, oh, there's a bunch of two-handed weapon users. Okay, that's actually not great for us. Possibly. Um, yeah, that's not great for us because they're going to probably murder everyone. Possibly. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, that was fast. Yeah, that was that was really, really fast. Much faster than anticipated. Okay, I've got to be careful about my stamina. As said before, my stamina is a little bit bad. Okay, here we go. Yeah, these guys actually do have the disadvantage because they are using two-handed weapons. Surprisingly enough. You wouldn't think so, right? You wouldn't think so, but yeah, they actually do have the disadvantage. And he's dead. Look at that. 37 damage. This sword's actually really good. Surprisingly good. Um, yeah, so at least we kind of know who we're fighting here as well. Because most of these guys are using two-handed. I already killed the guy that's using a shield, so we don't need to really worry about him. Gonna just disengage from this guy and do a nice little slash... Ah, yeah, he's he's being a bit uh, he's being a bit wily right now. He's being a bit wily. All right, there we go. He's dead. And now this guy has actually lost his body armor, which is pretty hilarious because um, I'm still su kind of surprised that my uh, my people haven't even killed him, to be honest. I, I would have expected them to actually do that quite fast, but there you go. I'll just take him out then, I guess. But that's the kind of thing that I'm a bit worried about if I were to use a two-handed. You, you see what I mean about that? Because obviously if you use a two-handed, you really kind of have to know how to use it. Because if you don't know how to use it or don't know how to try and prevent yourself from taking damage while using it, you're going to have some huge problems. And that's exactly what happened to these guys because they just had no idea what was going on and they basically just got themselves killed as a result. So that's that's kind of... Uh, that's yeah, it's not something I want to have happen to me. Thank you very much. Anyway, we're actually just going to be using this. And as I said to you before, we're probably going to just drop my shield and then we'll see what we can do about going in and using it as a two-handed because... It's actually got some pretty decent damage, surprisingly enough. And we're just going to train two-handed once again. Okay, so we have a, two, a many versus many. We have a one versus one. What else do we have? A many versus one. We're going to go for the uh, one versus one, I suppose. This is shrouded. I have no idea what it is. I do not want to go in and fight eight enemies. So not going to be doing that. 
Uh, but yeah, otherwise we're just going to be doing this. And uh, yeah, so obviously because this isn't spoils to the victor or anything like that, I can basically just drop my weapon or drop my, my shield. And then I can hopefully use my sword as a two-handed and then we should be absolutely fine because the shield will then come back to me after the match is over. Or at least it should do. Or if it doesn't, I can just pick it up again and then we can just, you know, exit and uh, it's going to be great you know it's going to be wonderful ah ho hopefully that's how it's going to work at least anyway i'm just going to drop my shield around about here and oh did not want it going down there are you seriously running down there to actually pick up my shield sir what what is he actually doing right now what where are you going sir okay well whatever the case um yeah he uh, he apparently um yeah, uh, see, this is what I'm talking about, though. Look, you, you see, you see how effective this guy is already against me, just because he has a shield. It's pretty hilarious. Wow. Okay, I might not even be able to defeat this guy just purely for the fact that I'm terrible with two handed Okay. Well, um, I guess I can just try my best. What is going on with my weapon speed? Look, look, look at how look at how slow I'm swinging. It's actually hilarious. Yeah, see now this is exactly what I was talking about earlier, um, or or uh, actually in the last episode, I was talking about this in the last episode. I was, I was saying, yeah, if you use this weapon as a uh, as a one-handed, you're uh, you're gaining the speed of it as a one-handed weapon, and you also have the damage from it being a two-handed. I mean, you can see here I did 34 damage right there. Um, but that... <laughs> that's not that's not that good. I, I think I probably would have done more as a one-handed. Obviously, I do have, what is it, 40 more points in, um, in one-handed than I do in two-handed. So, obviously, that's going to make a pretty significant difference. But really, this much of a difference? I don't know. I, it kind of feels... Kind of feels bad, man, you know? Kind of feels bad, man. So... Not sure if we're actually going to even be able to achieve victory here with this. But yeah, you can kind of see what would happen if I actually used a two-handed straight up. It's just kind of painful. Um, so yeah, probably not a good idea for me to do this in a real battle. Because let's face it, this, this is not really that much of a difficult fight. It shouldn't be a difficult fight for me. This is literally just some regular guy. You know, he's, he's the same level as me. It shouldn't be that difficult. I would have probably been able to beat him in maybe less than a minute, usually. But the way that it worked out just now, no way. That was that was really, really painful. Oh, look at that, though. We did actually gain a, uh, gain a rank, which is actually quite nice. And we can get some more stamina region, which I definitely, definitely need. And we are also going to just repair that weapon right there. All right, so we're just going to go back to this. Uh, I need to repair that weapon as well. My shield took a little bit of damage, but nothing to write home about. Let's actually have a look at some of my other things. No, all of that stuff is looking pretty fine. So we don't need to worry about that. I can just heal myself and we can just repair the rest. And then technically we can train if we want to. But as you saw, two-handed swords are at 72 right now. So it's not even, not even that low, but it felt really bad it felt really really bad so anyway what is this entourage this is entourage okay technically we could just go straight up and do this that is a one versus many might be kind of fun to do that why not why not let's win within five minutes as well and uh yeah yeah should be fine i don't need to train anymore i don't think i think we're pretty good in in regards to our training my one-handed sword skill is obviously maxed out i'm not finding any one-handed maces i would have loved to have used some one-handed maces but maybe i assume there just aren't any impressive one-handed maces, or very few, and as a result, I'm just not getting them. You know, it's just, just not. They're just not appearing. Basically, they're just not appearing. And I, I assume that's the reason. All right, this guy's gonna literally just get murdered. Uh, I, I don't think we need to worry about him at all. As you can see, he's just taking massive damage all over the place. He's dead already, as you can see. And where's my? Where's the other guy? Oh, he's just kind of running around, all confused now which is absolutely perfect for us. And he has no idea what's going on. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, that, this is me usually, you know? This is me. Um, this is like this is like a reversal of fortune, isn't it? It's like me doing the one versus many, and instead we're on the many side now. So, 
yeah, it's kind of like that. And you know that those those enemies in those in those rounds must must be saying the same thing. They must be like, oh, what's this guy doing? Right, where, where, where's he running to? You know, all that wonderful stuff. Anyway, this guy is basically done. He should be dead relatively soon. Just need to hit him once more on the helmet, I think. And that should be a kill. I'm, I'm hopeful that my friends will actually do some damage. Because it feels to me like they're not really doing too much. There we go. There's the last hit. And uh, there we go. Yeah, so super, super nice and easy. And how are we actually doing anyway in regards to our, um, in regards to our ranking? Um, because I'm at Prime Aspired now. Oh, I'm at Prime Aspired. Am I? Oh, I'm at, I'm at Prime Aspired. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize, actually, hilariously enough. Anyway, we are almost there. I need to get... Yeah, as you can see, it is a bit of a grind, isn't it? So I might be playing a little bit off screen um, just to do a little bit more here. Because um, as you can see, we just reached 1 million. And I think from that particular battle, I gained probably around 60,000 score. So I need to do another... Uh, well, quite a lot, actually. I need to do another, well, 10 plus, 15, maybe 15 or so uh, more fights that give me around the same score. And then we can hopefully make it... Oh, actually, no, wait a minute. That's only to 2 million. Right, okay. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I don't even know whether I want to do that, <laughs> to be honest. That is a lot of that is a lot of fighting. I suppose I could do it, but I'm going to do it off screen probably because it saves you and it saves me a bunch of uh, a bunch of busy work because it is generally going to be pretty harsh uh, to get 10 million score. But I'm I want to do it. You see, I want to do it because I want to see what happens when we actually reach that point. And don't worry, I'm not going to do the whole thing. Obviously. I'm going to probably get to 9 million score if I can actually get to 9 million. I don't even know whether I'm going to be able to do that. But if I can get to 9 million, then um, then I'll start the next recording there. And then we can take a look and see what happens when we actually reach the final rank. And then we can continue with our challenge runs. And we'll see what happens then. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.